J'accuse the Human Rights Council of the United Nations representing the 192 member states has never once found Sudan guilty of genocide. The most they could do was adopt a single resolution under enormous pressure. But you know what? They thank the government of Sudan for cooperation in the investigation of Darfur. J'accuse! Because the real victims of human rights are not getting their day across the street because that process has been hijacked and kidnapped by those who would vilify the single democracy in the region. And our voices need to be heard for Darfur, for the true victims of human rights, as much as for Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are not alone, as Natan Sharansky said, there were 10 countries that opted out of Durban too. Remember those countries as you leave this demonstration. Remember Canada. Remember Italy. Remember the United States. Remember Australia. Remember New Zealand. Remember Germany. Remember the Netherlands. Remember the Czech Republic. Remember Poland. And of course, don't forget Israel. 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 We, in the Soviet Union, I lived in an Orwellian world where uh, they spoke about peace and that meant war, and they spoke about protecting citizens that meant uh, enslaving them. And uh, uh, there were people in the West who were saying we have to understand them, but there were those who were ready to stand and to say the truth, and there were people in the West who were ready to see the evil, and that's why we defeated it. But now we are going back to Orwellian world. And here, the struggle against racism makes, means struggle against the only democracy in the world. And that's uh, very dangerous, but uh, I saw each time when there are few people who are ready to stand and be counted how they can change the situation. And that's what's happening now with this conference. Some Jews start speaking, Israel took a stand, you took a stand, and we took all the air out of this balloon, which is called race, uh, racist Israel. And at the beginning of the struggle, we What's your message to the countries that are gathered here today? Uh, that, uh, I was not speaking to them. It's, I was not speaking to them. Ah, my message was that these 10 countries which you see, you see that not to come, they have to be the base of the new real conference against racism, in which Israel will be not the target, but Israel will be as the only democracy in the Middle East, the only refuge for refugees from Sudan, the only country which is fighting against the bigotry in the world, will be one of the active participants.